and it just strike at me. Yep. All right, guys. So just another water snake. This is a juvenile bandit. You can see it has a nice patterning. I can really understand why some people think that these are water moccasins or cotton mouths because they really do look kind of similar. And then this is a different water snake. You can see different pattern as well. But this one might have been clipped by a car. Oh, it actually has some goo coming out of it there. Yeah, this one was clipped. But this one wasn't, luckily. So yeah, it'll be beautiful. All right guys, so I think this is a musk turtle. You just saw it on the road. See, it's got nice colors. The shell looks kinda just brown. But yeah, he's not very happy. You can see he's very lively. So we're gonna let him be on his merry way. Got pretty bad, pretty mean mouth on him. And we just saw water moccasins, so we thought this might be one as well, but this is a water snake. So yeah, not sure if I'm going to bother touching it, just because they musk. So yeah. So it's a pretty nice snake, actually. And it just strike at me. Yep. It's beginning to be a bit unhappy. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna attempt to pick it up without getting bit or musk that. Let's see how this goes. Just let it go on its So I just found this little tropical house gecko under this log. Native to Asia. So basically invasive. Why won't my camera focus? I don't know. There you go. See, he's got a adhesive pads on his hands. Off he goes. All right, guys, so here you can see a baby cotton mouth. What's different with these guys is the 
pattern is just so much clearer. And there, uh, and there, baby. You can see it's pretty nice on him. See, I'm getting bit to pieces here, guys. I'm gonna stop now.